living in alignment with the truth of who you are is actually probably one of the hardest things most of us can do because most of us learn that the way you're supposed to be is to adapt to your environment, to compartmentalize parts of yourself, cut them off, don't show other people those things, to do whatever you need to do to be accepted. It's really the way society is for most of us. It's how we get raised. Maybe it starts off with our parents, but then it continues. It continues with friends and the school and um, businesses and families and relationships. And we think that we have to contort ourselves in order to be able to win the love and approval of other people or to avoid getting hurt, to stay safe. So the process, that journey to kind of burn off all that is not us and then feel safe enough inside to bring our true selves forward. Some people think that's what they're doing already. I'm just already living authentically. But most of us who are on this path know that's not really true. That there's a deeper truth that we feel is calling us forth. And it's the path that we so long to be on and yet it goes against every part of our survival. Because you know, for humans, our safety comes in large part from our connection. And so we will do anything to stay connected or to avoid disconnection. But the problem many of us are starting to find is that perhaps the connection that we have is based on something false and it's based on survival rather than based on thriving. It's like push-pull of protection and connection. It's not true connection. It's this almost illusion of connection. Like we're all going to be following this agreement of how we're going to be in the world. And if you're this way, then I accept you and we can have connection. If you're not that way, then you threaten me. I feel uncomfortable and we might not be able to have connection. So this process that we go through to try to really unveil ourselves and be the true us and stop cutting off from parts of ourselves and we trust in self-connection first and connection to the divine, connection to nature, connection to the all that is. And then that is what enables us to cultivate authentic connection with others, with emotional depth and with authenticity. If that's what you're looking at doing, it's what I'm looking at doing, I would love to have you here. Follow me. Let's keep doing this together. It's hard work, isn't it? But important work.